Mobilizing the youth of today. Hi, my name is Aliana Kelly, and with me we have Tavasha Hall and Nicola Shaw. Tavasha and I were students from the Nakaba Polytechnic College, and we're intern staffs here. Mr. Shaw is a supervisor here at M&M Farming and Livestock Limited. On M&M Farming and Livestock Limited, we practice. Hydroponics, where we have three stations. On station one, we have cauliflower, which is over there. On station two, we have iceberg lettuce. And on station three here, we practice romaine lettuce. Our hydroponics system is a 10,000 plant system. On station one, we have cauliflower. And on station two, we have Lettuce. Here at station 3 we have romaine lettuce. So for our hydroponics, this is where our operation starts from, from in the nursery. So after we sow our seeds, we use, this is an example of how we sow our seeds and we sow seeds in massive distribution that's how we sow the seeds so after we sow them into this tray they stay for one or two weeks depends on how fast their growth their germination is and after sowing them from in this we transplant them into seed cups and in this seed cup they stay for two weeks and next we transplant them into the pipes so these are regular 7 ounce cups where we just get our solder iron and bore the bottom for the roots we used to distribute and we fill it with germination mix which is Lambert germination and we transplant our young seedling in this cup and let them stay for approximately a week then we transplant out into the pipe so they approximately, approximately spend three weeks in the nursery and four weeks maximum in the pipe. So right here from Evergrow we have a nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, solid, water soluble fertilizer with a ratio of 15, 30, 15. We pour it in, in a drum of water and then we mix it and use it to water our seedlings. So for the 55 gallon we use half pound of seed booster along with our identity tank A and tank B like we use approximately quarter gallon for the 55 per each okay we keep the plants in the nursery for two weeks and then transplant outside in a cup where they stayed for approximately four and a half to six weeks and we do fertigation through, through our microtubes where the tank with, 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 with our submersible pump pump the water up into the tubes and feed where we have a gently so slope so we are because we kick out of too much water at, at the plant root at once okay so the reason why we have a gentle slope is because um we don't want too many too much water at the roots of the plant because it can cause the cut it can cause it to have root rots and not just root rot but also other waterborne diseases okay so the plants are feed through fertigation so after applying the nutrients to the tank we then we then make sure that the plants have a balanced pH and EC and the plants are fed between 1 to 2 EC and 1 to 4 EC EC is electoral configuration and that means the strength of the nutrients that means you can't supply the plants with too much nutrients it cannot be too high or too low so these are some cauliflowers that we plant and they are approximately two weeks old now 
and they are looking pretty well we do a trial with 10 plants each, each and it works so successful where we get approximately pound and a half per one in this type of farming and um and it also takes nine weeks to ready training so they won't go astray hear what they say yeah give your head to clear a thinking loyal heart got to be perfect on behalf of M&M Farm and Livestock Limited, I would like to express tremendous gratitude to the Hanover 4-H Club for being here and featuring us. You can contact them or visit them on Facebook, Instagram or YouTube and I'm imploring all young persons to be a part of 4-H. Give your head to clear a thinking, loyal heart, got to be persevering. To the Lord the service, make your hands willing, your help.